we learnt division with oranges and pie slices. Twelve segments, six friends, divide the pieces to make it fair. Division meant sharing. Then we learnt, if we only had three friends, we'd get a larger slice of the pie. Somehow, we learned it was justified when some took a second or third slice, the last portion had to be divided into twelve more, and still, some children got none at all. We were divided into teams for sport. We learned to compete. Gold star for achievement. Black mark for bad behaviour. Then, we learned about remainders. Fifteen children into two teams, equals seven aside. Remainder one. One child on the sidelines, not chosen for either team. We learned division tracing outlines of maps with borders between nations. Like pictures in a colouring book, we learned to stay inside the lines. Learned to divide neighbours into categories called Protestants, Catholics, Muslims and Jews. Somehow, we learned to normalise the divide between those who can shop for designer shoes and those born to grow rice or scavenge for food at landfill sites or make plastic spoons that are used months and thrown away. We learned division with superheroes and cartoon villains, good versus evil, us and them. Maintaining a constant supply of baddies provides reassurance that we're the good guys. Somehow, we learnt the importance of divining which views in an argument that we read about online represents the dark side. We learnt to identify whose fault it is when we're stuck in traffic, who to blame when we don't get a pay rise, or when we realise the water our dreams have been sailing on is draining out of the bathtub and our hopes are capsizing in a puddle on the bathroom floor. We learnt to scapegoat. We learned that there's such a thing as right and wrong. And that we know, we know at any given moment which is which. And we are close to some divine source of almighty truth. We have insider information, exclusive access to the instruction manual on the right way to live. And we apply this to the minute detail of our lives, insisting there is a right way to wash the dishes or parent our kids and we have the authority to inform others they've got it wrong. Somehow, we learnt to deny our commonality, learnt not to notice that we all want to be happy, autonomous, authentic, connected. We all want to find purpose. We all share the same needs. We all need air, food, shelter, we all need a biosphere that can sustain life. We need to reduce the harm we're doing to this planet to net zero. And we also learned at school, it doesn't matter how many times you divide a number, you never get to zero. You end up with smaller and smaller fractions. Smaller and smaller fractured parts until our world can't hold together. We need to stop dividing. We need to multiply new ways of thinking. Stitch the world back together like a patchwork quilt. Gather all the fragments and rewrite the curriculum. Instead of learning to divide, we need to learn about mycelium. The network of roots that binds our world together. We need to learn that forests talk to each other. We're as interconnected as flowers and bees. At each time we inhale, we're ingesting the exhaled breath of trees.